Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to today's edition of Programming Users. So today guys, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to download, how to uh, set up uh, your jQuery mobile offline, okay? So that you can begin the development. Remember, uh, we're going to have so many videos about jQuery mobile tutorials, so you rather, you better subscribe uh, so that you continue getting this tutorial. So, guys, the first thing uh, that I'll require you to do, uh, please, move uh, to your browser go to www.jquerymobile okay jquerymobile.com download jquery mobile okay download the compressed version the production version you can see yeah i have already downloaded mine okay jquery mobile 1.4.5 probably by the time you're downloading it will have gone up okay then after downloading the jquery mobile just save it on your desktop then uh, proceed to www.jquery.com okay download jquery uh, the compressed version that is the production version uh, save it on your desktop okay now we we'll have those two files over here remember jquery mobile of course depends on the jquery core that's why we've downloaded both of them okay so uh, then create a folder on your desktop i've already created mine known as jq okay then uh, after creating the folder just uh, move the jquery mobile inside the folder then extract it inside the that particular folder yeah after extracting it i'll now remove it uh, back to the desktop okay then a uh, copy jquery core and then paste it just inside uh, together with the contents that we extracted then uh, select everything cut them create a new folder known as js okay paste everything inside the js actually this is just for um to make uh, to arrange our work better okay then guys uh, now uh, what i require you to do is that you fire up your editor uh, i'm going to use sublime text okay i'm using sublime text today so uh, once you fire up your editor uh, file okay i'll save uh, this one inside the js folder i'll save it as html uh, document with the h uh, first up dot html okay now uh, i'll come to is it view yeah view then change the syntax of course to html yeah then uh, guys uh, we'll now start uh, the first thing uh, I'll create the HTML tags required for this HTML. Then I close it. Then I come, open the head. I come and close it. Inside the head, I open the title. I come and close the title okay then the title I'll just call it first up right then uh, after the title okay now what we will need uh, just still inside the head we'll need to set up jQuery okay so the first thing is that please uh, write this piece of code actually what this piece of code does is that it adjusts uh, the width of your content okay 
the content of your app to the width of the device right then uh, after typing those ones then we'll need to reference the css files okay the css files that we extracted uh, from the jquery mobile okay then uh, after referencing the CSS files, we also need to reference uh, the jQuery call. Okay? So, uh, I'll explain in a second. Then, uh, after referencing the jQuery call, we also need to reference uh, the jQuery mobile. Remember, we extracted all these things inside the JS folder. Now, if you can see, actually, what we are saying, uh, we are telling uh, the app that go to the JS folder. Okay. Remember the JS folder that we created. Then look for jQuery mobile uh, 1.4.5.css. Okay. Then you are telling it also to go to the JS folder. Look for jQuery. Uh, 2.1.4 this is the jquery code the same to jquery mobile okay now that is how we reference remember we included all these things uh, inside the js folder now what we'll need uh, let's come now to the body we had created the head section now let's create the body Uh, small letters of course then we close it then uh, inside the body the first thing that we'll do is that we'll create a div tag okay so say div data role equal to page then id equal to home page actually id you can give it any then we close the particular div tag no guys uh, this is how we normally create a page in jquery okay using the div tag then uh, we pass this data role attribute we give we assign it to page okay then we pass a unique id okay no this is how we create a page but pages in jquery uh, normally consist of header footer and content section so we also have to create those ones so i'll say uh inside the uh this div i'll also create another div okay then this one for this particular one i'll give it data role equal to header okay now this is how we create the header section then of course uh we come and close it and now just simply copy paste this one this is the header section then we also need the content section okay remember i've said that it consists of header content and footer and the footer section also okay so inside the header section for example we can write some uh, h1 uh header just something you can write anything over there then uh inside the content section uh i just want to type uh write some content over there okay so um i'll just use the paragraph tag then close it okay then uh, inside the footer section okay after the content i'll add probably because for content yeah i'll just add probably using then at the, at the footer uh, probably i'll put some h3 uh, then say probably something nice like this copyright at 2015 jquery okay then we close it h3 okay now i make sure that i save my work 
okay now uh, let's come and now run it's using mozilla oh my mozilla has crashed i'll just run it instead with the chrome okay you can see now uh, we have our first uh, jquery app it's good header okay then you can see the content section and then you can see the footer section okay so guys uh, it is responsive if you adjust the screen it responds with the screen guys i hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial uh, it was just a short one to show you how to set up jquery and how to write your first app so please if you like this tutorial comment uh, like this video share this video and please subscribe so that you continue receiving more videos like this okay have a nice day see you next time